You talked about Room 104 earlier. I think you wrote like a spec script or mm -hmm. you did something. Yep. And now you're actually working with the Duplass brothers. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Um, so when I was starting to make films, uh, the Duplass brothers were idols of mine. Uh, I thought The Puffy Chair was one of the, the greatest micro budget films ever made. I still think it's one of the best. Um, and I had really wanted to work with them and I really wanted to try to see a little bit more about how they make stuff. So about, this, this story goes back quite a ways actually, about 10 years ago, uh, the Duplass brothers made a film in Maine. Uh, it was called Black Rock. And if you, uh, Mark Duplass's wife, Katie, was the director. Oh, cool. Um, and Kate Bosworth was in it and Lake Bell was in it. It was a thriller. Yes, okay. Really, really mm -hmm. great film. And when they came to Maine, they didn't have any local crew. So the producer of the movie, uh, my friend Adela, she contacted me because I was living in Connecticut at the time and she said, do you know anybody that would want to come up and work on this film? And I got her about a third of her crew. So I, as a benefit of that, I got to go up for a couple days and I'd hang out with them for a weekend as they were shooting. And when I went there, Mark was there. Oh, cool. So I actually got to meet him when we were on set and absolutely like fanboy the whole time, <laughs> like had a hard time speaking to him, but he couldn't have been cooler, couldn't have been nicer. And so we stayed in touch. Um, so fast forward, you know, eight, nine years, when I moved out to Los Angeles, I ran into him at an event uh, for the HBO show Animals that they had. Nice. And I went to go see the first couple episodes of that. And I saw him work there and I told him, you know, hey, I'm in LA now, you know, I'm working in Orange County. So that was great. Um, and then a couple months later, he actually cast me in an episode of the first season of Room 104. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, the show ultimately cut my part out of the episode, oh. so it didn't make the air. But when I was there, I got to meet, you know, the director of the episode, obviously, and all the producers. And then that was sort of my first exposure to the folks that were running their company. So fast forward again, now I'm in, at CSUN. I have to do an internship in order to graduate. So I contacted Mark and I said, hey, is there any way that I can work for you? It'd be great to, to be a part of the team. And he said, yeah, we actually started a short form production company. Uh, it's called Donut. And they make commercials, they make branded content, they make interactive television, they make all sorts of stuff and they need help. So I started interning with them and we worked on a number of uh, non-scripted stuff, series and a couple of scripted series. Uh, back in December of last year. Um, I was helping them with like the development of their interactive TV shows, one of which is gonna shoot later this year. Um, I was an associate producer on a web series that they made. Um, so really got a chance to work with them a lot. Um, and that culminated after, right after I graduated in May, uh, they're making a new movie and they offered me to work for, with them as a production assistant. Oh, so. Wow. Here I am, 42 years old, uh, the oldest production assistant in Los Angeles, <laughs> and I spent a month working with them, helping them make this film, and it was an amazing experience. It was really, really great. I, I can't give any details about the movie itself, sure. but being able to work with them um, and seeing the folks that they work with and how calm everything was on set and just how they work with great people, that's the secret to their success, I think is they just have so many wonderful people in their ecosystem that it's it's just awesome. So it was it was a really great experience and, and I hope to, to keep working with them on stuff in the future. Yeah, they're very personable and they have a great sense of humor too. It's, it's not do. like it's just when the camera's on. They, they, right, they're right. able to laugh and just, yeah. They're just, they're salt of the earth guys, they really are. And it's interesting how a, a different little, like what would seem like small opportunities that some people could just say, oh, well, I don't know if I really want to do this, is now turned in. It just shows you if you kind of stay the course, how it's, someone can notice you. It's so important. And the other thing to remember too is that, you know, tied into that, it's, it's a long game. You know, you can't come into something expecting someone to help you if you don't help them first. And, you know, the fact that I got the opportunity to PA on this movie because I interned for them, because I gave them my time. And obviously it was a benefit to me because I was able to work with some great people, but they were able to do more as a result of me being there than had I not been there. So that there's, there's a sort of turnabout for that, you know, and then they offer me an opportunity on a movie. 
you know, that's, that's how this works. You know, people help each other. That's how you get ahead. So, you know, my hope is, you know, if they have another movie in the future, maybe they might ask me to do something, you know, in another role, maybe a little bigger role because I've shown them, you know, I, I think I did a pretty okay job, you know, as a PA and, you know, we'll see where it goes. Do you see that with some of the students because things are so fast paced, whether it's breaking news, I mean, it almost, the 24 hour news cycle is no longer, it's now like, the, yeah, the two hour news cycle and then we've moved on to some new horrible tragedy. Yeah. Do you think a lot of younger people, they don't realize that things still do take a while? Because it seems like some people, they want this instant thing and maybe that's just youth. They don't realize that things do take some time. I think, yeah, I think youth is a big part of it. You know, what is it? Mark Twain had that great quote. I wish I could be 21 again when I knew everything. <laughs> um, that, I think that's, I think it's an important growth step, you know, for young people to realize that there are dues to pay. Now, how you pay them is an open question. Um, you know, some folks, they, they immediately, you know, go out and start making their own films. And if they find success, that's great. But there's a possible caveat that they don't have the full understanding of what it is that they're doing if they get success early, if that makes sense. Yeah. And then there's other folks, you know, they come in and they start at the bottom and they work their way up. And if they find success, then they have a little bit of a different viewpoint because they understand the different people that are involved in something and what it takes to get to a particular position. So in my experience, the students who get into something and start working their way up they have more of a respect for the entire process and what everyone does. Um, and I, I tend to find that those folks are a little more knowledgeable about the entire filmmaking process. Um, and I think they're a little more grateful for should they find success that they had worked their way towards it. Um, some film students of mine, um, they had gotten out of school and through resources of their family, they get an opportunity to make a film and they make the film and you know if it finds success that's great i feel like they miss a little bit not having an opportunity to you know to work some of those jobs and understand what it's like looking from the bottom and you don't have to do it forever you learn a lot on one film you know even if it's just one you know you get a sense of what everybody's doing and how important every person is um, there's a different viewpoint after you do that um, it's not so much, you know, I'm hiring you to do this. It's, it's I understand how you play a small part in the whole of making this movie. Um, so I think, yeah, I think that's, that's something that kids learn eventually. Um, our age definitely has something to do with it. You know, the, the instant news cycle uh, is definitely something that, that reinforces the instant gratification and the, the lack of attention span. Uh, that's, that's something that doesn't help. A mindset like that um, but you know I think most of the time this town is pretty solid in their attitude that you need to start at the bottom if you want to get anywhere so I think I think LA sort of browbeats folks you know into that kind of that kind of uh, path I think <laughs>